VIP. You are welcome to this uh, presentation. Uh, we are about to start. Uh, first of all, uh, I have to introduce us. Uh, as you can see, uh, on my uh, right hand side, this is me, uh, Smith Senior. And on my left side, it's Nigel Kelly. Okay. Uh, in this subject, bias. 315 system analysis and design project. And the purpose of business ID. Uh, the purpose of the project uh, is to analyze the situation, identify a problem or opportunity, and design a system. Alright. There's a lot of situations uh, across PNC, so need to be addressed. Uh, as, uh, as we identify a problem, so we decide to uh, solve a problem. So uh, we decide to divide the slides into two groups. Uh, I'll go on the uh, uh, first four slides, and later we'll talk on the other uh, four, four slides. So, yes, uh, it's us, the student analyst who designed this uh, project. It's me and Rachel, and Rachel and I. So, yes, uh, we move on. Uh, proposed system or app. We propose to develop or design to address this issue or problem that we have identified, which is uh, Open and distance they book up. And uh, it is a mathematics book up for BNC students. So we targeted grade levels. Moving on, the background of the project or system, uh, the background of the pro proposed system or app that we can uh, need for learning tools to assist Papua New Guinea learners, especially for the Open and distance learning students. Okay, uh, there's an issues for that. Yeah, there's an issue. So we we will find a solution to those issues. So current issues in BNC are few. Uh, the problem that we identified: there are too many students uh, per book, uh, referring to the textbooks, uh, students' resource books. Uh, uh, yeah, many students say one textbook, that's uh, that is reality and it's an experience that we come through during our, like back in our primary schools, not only that uh, open and distance learning students can face this problem, it is faced also in our primary schools. I believe some of you may come across these problems, so for my experience, we uh, in my, back in my primary school, we said one textbook between three to four students. So this results in the students not completing their own work, not study well to sit for theirs and exams, and not completing the assignments in time. So this is one of the results that are <coughs> due to that res uh, resource books not available for limited number of textbooks or students such as books used. So we all face, as I said, we all face, see and face this problem. But we haven't looked for the solutions to solve those problems. So the opportunities that can help us, all right, with the availability of technology that we have, we can create more additional software to solve the problem or need we see today. All right? With changes in thinking and operational process. So with the knowledge or skills and skills uh, that we acquire from this course, we can apply it practically to solve a problem or situation that we see today. Therefore, we as a student studying this course 
can be able to find solution to this problem. Moving on, there are other similar systems of okay? uh, alternative applications. We decided to choose uh, three applications to design. Uh, after choosing those three applications, going through, over them uh, in terms of economics, uh, technical, economic, and uh, organizational issues. And uh, we found out that only one application can, uh, can solve that issue or problem or need that we, we identify. So we choose to create open and distance ego car to cater for the specific need or problem that was identified. Moving on, student learning. Our system or app, as I have already mentioned, it is called a ebook app for PhD students. Alright, targeting grade 10 level students in PhD over the distance learning schools. The app will be available for any learner to use. Means both students and non students can use the app. Alright? Uh, students or whoever wants to use the app, it will be available or anyone can use. It's free. So the system or app will not be replaced the textbooks and its content. Okay, the system or the app that we built will not replace the old context of the textbook that uh, usually used. So it will it will be used as a reference to, to the textbooks. So uh, the content of this app or yeah the content of this app that we built it provides the explanations with formulas and examples on the different text topics. Moving on, other system or app is both information, informational and responsive. All right, the uh, informational users will select to read on different units and topics where provides examples, uh, examples with formulas and solutions. The units and topics can be uh, practically applied in real life situation. So, like a calendar, calendar also need a maths too. All right, a calendar use the fraction concept to break down measurement and cut the wood according to the required measurement. All right, or a survey, a survey use geometry and trigonometry to help them answer all the boundaries lines are correct. All right, uh, responsive to have. Is very responsive and user friendly. Any learner or user can interact with it efficiently. Mm -hmm. Patterns or tabs are very interactive and clickable. Mm -hmm. The app can take less than a second to respond to the user. Alright, as you go to the app, you tap on the patterns or tabs, it will respond less than a second. We're going to class once again. Uh, if you don't have time, I'm going to just go briefly, which is the last four slides. Uh, so the proposed design uh, technology, um, for specific purposes, we decided to use the HTML, CSS, and JS uh, with the help of the platform of JS code and Docker. Um, uh, as for our sample or prototype, are we going to be showing you that? Um, yeah. Due to time limitation, we will not be able to show all design features. Um, yeah, however, they are included in the proposal document. Uh, in the proposal document, uh, we have included use cases, simple interfaces, and uh, data flow diagram. Um, the lessons learned, uh, Smith and I have added a lesson learned. A uh, brief slide. Brief slide, so I'm just going to go through it. Uh, we have also prepared a 
other two slides, which will be later settings. So the gains, we have learned a lot. Uh, we were able to use different development platforms for programming languages and tools, uh, where individuals can try to do things that bring changes. Um, we are capable of becoming innovators and entrepreneurs. Uh, some of the problems encountered, um, we do, did not use our type of programming appropriately. Uh, we also really gave up along the way. Uh, we thought that this course would be like other course subjects. Um, things did not work according to project plan, or we first saw the project plan. Um, we also faced some difficulties in code. <laughs> So, uh, now I'm going to take you guys to the prototype. Um, Smith is going to send the app to uh, WhatsApp so you guys can download it and see it. So now I'll just do a whole trip into the prototype. Uh, as you can see, uh, this is just uh, represents the icon when you click on the desktop or phone app. So you have to click it, you can turn it uh, into the login interface. So uh, this is the username and password um, text box. Uh, so uh, if you don't, if there is no credit choice here, it will ask you to fill out the field. Uh, in there. So uh, since it's a prototype, you can enter whatever you want, it still will go. So uh, here are the topics. Um, yeah, for the different units covered in weighted mathematics. So we just open up. So uh, this prototype I basically holds a uh, topics, few topics of the few units that are covered in weighted maths. Send to the group. So you can install the app and uh, uh, open it. This is a prototype that was presented. The app already sent. You can open it and uh, go through it. Uh, thank you, everyone, for participation. This is the end of our presentation.